Is the Viper about to strike? WWE continues to drop some big hints that we are heading towards a Randy Orton versus Cody Rhodes match, but not just a Randy Orton versus Cody Rhodes match, a Randy Orton versus Cody Rhodes feud that is going to get very personal. And we now kind of see how this is all playing out over the past several weeks. Before we get to this week's edition of SmackDown and what many thought were maybe the most obvious sign that this is where things are headed, we have to go back a little bit. Because if you remember before Money in the Bank, before we got to the big six-man tag team match, which we will get to shortly, you had the hot episode of SmackDown at Madison Square Garden where you did have Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens come out to start the show, and they're furious, right, given everything the bloodline had done to them. And we know they weren't there at the end of the show because they were escorted out by the police. That leads to Heyman getting put through the table, changes everything for the bloodline. We've talked about that. But... Something Cody Rhodes said, right, on that particular show, and some people have pointed it out. If you see the look on Randy Orton's face when Cody mentioned specifically that he should not have be having to deal with the bloodline at Madison Square Garden, the most famous arena in the world, he shouldn't be having to deal with this nonsense with the bloodline. But instead he is. And that is preventing him from defending his WWE championship against a worthy opponent. As Cody says those words, this was the look we got from Randy Orton. Orton turning around, almost a little bit curious. And as soon as he says those words, it's that instinct from the Viper to turn around and look at Cody Rhodes. Now, what you don't see after this, if you go back and watch that edition of SmackDown, it's after Orton gives Cody this look. After he talks about how he should be defending his championship against a worthy opponent, Orton just kind of walks off with a little grin on his face. And then he takes his hand and kind of puts it behind his head and scratches his head a little bit. That's not for nothing, right? There's a reason he did that. And so we take it a step forward. Go to the next step in this whole thing before we get to this week's SmackDown. What happened at Money in the Bank? You had a scenario where six-man tag team action, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens, they want their revenge on the bloodline. Cody wants his revenge on the bloodline. This may be the chance. They can finally be finished with this whole thing, right? They can finally destroy the bloodline and be done with them once and for all. That's the goal, right? It should have been the goal for the three top baby faces that they want to get rid of these guys. Otherwise, things are only going to get worse. Well, they got worse. Because why? Because it was Cody who lost at Money in the Bank. So let's go pin Cody Rhodes, just as we thought would probably happen. And then that put Randy Orton in a scenario where this thing has to continue, right? Cody's whole thing with the bloodline has to continue. And because Randy Orton is such a good, trusted friend, of Cody Rhodes, that means Randy has to continue putting himself in this position to where he has to support his friend Cody Rhodes. Well, what happened on this week's edition of SmackDown? Yes, we had the sit-down thing in the back that you kind of teed up everything regarding Randy bringing up the fact that he is going to always have Cody's back. He said that multiple times. I will have your back always. And he also not only mentioned that within the context of the bloodline, he mentioned that within the context of talking about, as you guys heard, saying all the people in the locker room that are going to be coming for Cody's WWE championship after he finishes this business with the bloodline. And as he's saying that, what does Randy Orton do? Well, you see Randy Orton's eyes sort of gaze at that championship a little bit. And you see the camera work. If you go back and watch it, you start sort of the scene here where it's Cody by himself. Orton walks in. You've got the title between the two. That's done for a reason, right? You've got the title between these two. This is the thing that is between Cody and Randy Orton. What an ideal scenario, right? And so as they're talking, camera zooms in. You don't see that championship. It zooms back out. You see the championship again. And that's when you see Orton kind of make these motions towards the title, talking about how he's going to still have Cody's back, even when all these people are coming after the championship. But you do see Randy lock those eyes on that WWE championship. And again, it's the instinct, right? Think about what we just said happened a couple weeks ago at Madison Square Garden. As soon as Cody said the words, I should be defending my WWE championship, Randy instinct kicks in and he looks back at Cody and he gives it that thought for just a couple seconds, right? Should the Viper strike? He didn't do it then, but we know he's going to because why? What happened after this whole thing in the back between these two where Orton is professing sort of 
I don't know, his love uh, for wanting to protect Cody, right? He's pouring it all out there. Randy Orton is here to protect Cody Rhodes. But what did that get him? Cody goes out into the ring. It's one on four. Orton even told Cody that Kevin Owens was not in the building. Orton's the one that suggested that Kevin Owens should not be there to deal with the family stuff. And so Cody goes in knowing that he is going to have a one-on-four scenario here. But if you think back to the segment, Orton is telling Cody that he needs to tell, his words, not mine, that big fat Samoan a piece of his mind, right? That's what Orton said to Cody. So Orton is sort of motivating Cody to go out there and speak his mind to Solo Sokoa and the bloodline, knowing that, well, if he does that, Cody's going to find himself in the same position he found himself in on SmackDown. He's going to be outnumbered. He's going to be attacked. And that kind of puts Orton in a position where he has to come out and help because he's trying, right? Randy Orton is trying to help Cody Rhodes here. And so Orton has to come out. And what happens? Orton is the one who feels the consequences here. And even Solo, as he's tying Cody Rhodes up into the ropes, Solo's telling Cody that this is all your fault. Now, we know what happened to Orton. Orton gets taken out, put through the table. Now we have many questions about Orton's future. He just came back from a long layoff due to injury, that, thanks to the bloodline. He comes back at Survivor Series in part to help Cody in the battle, right, at War Games. And now what hit does he have to show for it? He has this, a potential career-ending scenario, a career-ending injury perhaps for Randy Orton following the, the destruction that the bloodline laid upon him with the steel steps, the super kicks, and putting him through the table. That's what he has to show for supporting Cody Rhodes. And so, is Orton finally tired of taking the hits for Cody? You've got to wonder, is that where we are? Because Cody, where would he be without Randy Orton, right? And that could be part of this feud, I think, in the future. Is Orton talking about how Cody would never be here if it wasn't for him? And even Cody himself, if you go back to Madison Square Garden, what he said right before he said, I should be defending my championship against a worthy opponent. Cody said he would not be here without Randy Orton. So it's going to hurt even more whenever Randy decides to turn on Cody Rhodes. And they're laying the groundwork for that already. And I know there are people that have different scenarios as to how they see this playing out. Some think Orton's going to turn on Cody at SummerSlam to cost him the title. Some think maybe Orton turns on Cody right after all the business with potentially Roman Reigns returning and all that to confront Solo Sokoa. Maybe that's where you have Orton turn on Cody. That sets in motion their feud for the title moving forward. I know people brought up perfect setting to do something like that at Bad Blood. Um, there's a lot you can do here. And you guys know if you go back to the video I did right after WrestleMania 40, I did my early WrestleMania 41 predictions. I said, I'm going to go with Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton. Now that we have the John Cena retirement tour and all that added to the mix, I don't know if that's going to happen. Seems like they're getting this match sooner rather than later with Cody and Orton. But this is all setting up in a way that Orton can look up and say, as he did in the infamous way to, to Kofi Kingston many years ago, stupid, 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 right, to Cody Rhodes. Because why? What's Cody doing here? Cody has been the person who has kind of put him in this position. And yet Orton has tried. He's tried to always have Cody's back. But yet, here we are. The injury that sidelines Orton for 18 months. Commentary pushed that on this week's SmackDown. And here he is again, finding himself in a situation where he's looking at a potential another 18-month layoff. We know that's not going to happen. But we can at least kind of look within the mind of Randy Orton and think that that's a fear that he can have, right? And so you've got all this. Orton saying multiple times he's going to have Cody's back. It's all tying together. And... Again, I just I look at this, and there was one thing that Orton said in this whole kind of deal that you had on this week's SmackDown. There was something very important that Orton had to say, and it's the phrase that will ultimately come back to bite Cody Rhodes. Randy Orton said, eventually, everything comes to an end. He said that multiple times. Everything comes to an end. And when it does come to an end, with the friendship between Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton. All Cody has to do is go back to the official Facebook fan page of Randy Orton in 2017 to see something that Cody should have never forgotten. And somehow he did because he lost it along the way. 
He just forgot that there's something you just cannot do. <laughs> Never trust a Viper. And that may ultimately be the reason that Cody Rhodes finds himself losing the WWE Championship to Randy Orton at some point in the near future. But, again, I want to know what you guys think about when this is going to happen. When is Orton going to make his turn? What else have you seen out there? These little hints that WWE has been dropping week after week after week, and now when you tie it all together. From Randy Orton's look at Cody several weeks ago at Madison Square Garden when he mentioned the championship, Randy maybe not being too happy about Cody taking the pin at Money in the Bank. And now Randy not only talking about the WWE Championship and giving that championship uh, quite an eye backstage, but then taking the hit for Cody again. Enough is enough for Randy Orton, and I think it's about time for the Viper to strike. So we will see how it plays out. You guys let me know what you think. How is this all going to play out with Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton? When do we get the turn? When does the Viper strike? Let me know your thoughts. And as always, be sure to subscribe button, hit the like button on your way out, and let me know your thoughts on this, what is going to be a very, very personal feud between Randy Orton and Cody Rhodes.